Good morning everyone, it's Pastor Tim, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is February the 9th. I am recording this. Uh, I'm looking out my window. We just got done with a snowstorm. It is cold. Um, and so I wanted to get these done. Uh, the the DV, Devos in case it gets snowed in. So anyways, what's happening is as we begin to uh, tie a bow around this series called Celebration of Discipline, the very last word is called simplicity. And, and if you had to describe someone who was simple, what a simple life was, what might you say? Would you say that they had a garden where all their food came from and they need, they need to not go to, to a grocery store? Or perhaps they no need they had no need of a car or the entire headache that comes with that. Perhaps the simple life means the person has everything they need and nothing more. What is the simple life? If you are a person who lives in the, today's world, how do you have a life that could be described as simple? So I'm going to transition. I'm going to pray for you. And my friend Dustin Fritzmeyer is uh, from another church in Kansas. And he's a friend of mine, and he'll be doing the reading for us for the scripture found in Matthew 6. I believe it's 24 to 34, 25 to 34, and then we'll get back into this tomorrow. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person in your name. Amen. God bless you. And by the way, it's February 10th. Sorry about that. Mom, I know you're paying attention. All right, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Good, good morning, Burlington First Assembly. Hey, it is Pastor Dustin here from Leota, Kansas. Uh, glad to be with you this morning. Shout out to Pastor Tim. Uh, thanks a lot, brother, for uh, letting me get in on this this morning. Bringing you the word uh, out of Matthew 6, verses 25 to 34 this morning. Uh, Therefore, I tell you, Jesus writes to us, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, Or what you're going to drink. A little French vanilla. He says, or don't worry about what you're going to wear. Listen, I don't worry about what I'm wearing right here with this. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Yikes. Is not life more than food? And the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spend, yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today, and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? So don't worry saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all of these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Every day has enough troubles of its own. Here's a little song I wrote You might want to sing it note for note Don't worry You'll be happy Yeah, yeah, yeah